for to miss. Uh, my name is Paul Wittekey. Myself and Jason Kessler will be your hosts for today's event. Uh, before we begin, I would like to go over a few tools uh, that we have in place here uh, and uh, you can be aware of as we get through today's webinar. Uh, at this time, all the participants are, will be in listen-only or muted in listen-only mode. And to ask any questions at any point in time, please click on the Q&A tab uh, over on the right-hand corner of the screen. Uh, today's webinar uh, is brought to you by the following sponsors. Um, today's webinar is brought to you by IDT, Integrated Document Technologies. Uh, IDT is a full-range integrator of content management solutions for both capture and content management, as well as Highland Software. On, Highland Software is the developer of the award-winning OnBase software for document uh, management as well as content management electronic archiving. And AnyDoc Software, which is the leader in forms recognition and document capture, as well as our hardware partner for today, Kodak. Uh, at this point, I want to turn the conference over to Jason Kessler. Jason is the AP Industry Specialist from Highland Software. Thank you, Paul. So before we begin the uh, getting deep into exactly what imaging and workflow solutions can do to realize some of those lost AP metrics, I wanted to maybe lay the groundwork for what today's business landscape is versus what it might have been like before the recession kind of hit. You know, so before October 2008, everybody was talking about expansion, about growth, about uh, acquisitions and mergers and um, gaining market share within whatever particular industry everyone's in. Some of the drivers for this was um, the scalability. And I've got more vendors to deal with, more business units that I'm bringing on. I've got a higher transaction volume. For every acquisition I make, I potentially double or triple some of my transactional processing. How can I handle that with only incremental sizing of the staff that it takes to process the, that information? So the objectives were what? Maximize all resources. Cut out those inefficiencies. Make this acquisition. Make this growth strategy as profitable as it can for the organization. Eliminate those errors. Eliminate all duplications of effort. And at the same time, while I'm not maybe growing my, um, the staff that it takes to process these documents or these uh, transactions, keep the service levels high. I can't sacrifice customer service just for the sake of headcount, right? Well, what is it like now? General tone, completely different. Everybody's basically saying, I'm going to contract in terms of my efforts. Uh, the market is very um, instable right now, and what can I do just to survive? Zero percent growth is the new growth. You know, that is considered doing very well in today's economy. Um, you know, the market is shrinking out there. There's less opportunities to be had. Um, instead of people being acquired, people are now going bankrupt. So I guess that market share thing, it still pertains because as companies go bankrupt, there's more of those uh, customers still to get, but still, um, everybody is really in the mode of cost reductions. If I'm going to have less work for people to do, I need to maximize the rest of the people that I have in my organization to get that done. So again, these objectives are still the same. Maximize all my resources, eliminate all inefficiencies, but still keep my service levels high. Because now more than ever, I cannot afford to lose a current customer. So if my service levels decrease, I'm almost certainly going to lose that customer. But still, I can only afford to have a fraction of the people on board. So I need to make sure that they have the tools uh, that they need to make sure that their work gets done accurately, quickly, and again, with that same high level of service. So what are we getting at here? How can we prepare for this has not changed, but the reasons might have in the past six months or 18 months or so. But really, if anything's happened, process and controlling that process and using technology to further automate those processes is really the true driver here. So why laying out that landscape would we talk about imaging and workflow solutions? Well, workflow might be a little obvious. Workflow is exactly that. It allows me to process my work in a streamlined, a controlled manner. Um, but how do we go about doing that? 
we're proposing using imaging to allow that workflow to get done. Because based on volume, many companies have reduced their costs with imaging and workflow. And the numbers right in front of you, right in front of you speak for themselves. If I enable some of the latest technologies that are out there provided by some of the sponsors that you just heard, I can reduce the cost of invoice processing anywhere from what standard industry um, data would say is $20 all the way down to $2 per invoice. I have lower fees paid to external auditors if I use imaging and workflow because I can now say that that data is more controlled, it's secure, and hence the auditors want to have quicker access to that data to audit, but they also require less information to audit because they know that your process is already in control. So if I needed to full pull 50 random samples before out of the filing cabinets that might be in multiple locations, now I only have to pull maybe 25. And those are real auditor facts that they can go ahead and say, okay, I understand you're already well in control here. Let me just verify a few pieces of data, not as many as I would have before. And also, I can take advantage of some increased discounts. If I have the ability to save 2% because I paid my invoice within 15 days, depending on the, uh, the value of that invoice, that could be tens of thousands of dollars for just one particular invoice. Now, the norm might only be tens or hundreds of dollars, but still, um, the advantage to, take it, uh, to be taken for these early payment discounts is very, very great, and imaging and workflow is going to allow you to accomplish that. Now, what is the perception? You know, knowing what the business landscape is, I need to perform high levels of service with not as many people as I might have been afforded to before. The perception is that AP is out of control. If somebody's calling in and about an invoice, you're going to hear maybe one of two things. Here, you take it. No, you take it. I don't want to deal with this particular customer. They're a pain in the neck, and I just have to keep going round and round with them. And it's really because why? No one has proof one way or the other to make sure that the other person says, well, you're right, I'm wrong, I'm going to concede. Or the other problem is, can you fax me a copy of that? just so I can um, you know, help you or I can gain more information here? Well, as soon as you do that, you now just created a duplicate copy. And as soon as you create one copy, the propensity to create uh, multiple copies arguably is exponential. And the uh, possibility and probability of paying that invoice just that many times increases just the same amount. 